Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract fractions um, with different denominators or how to subtract unlike fractions. So here you can see that we have different denominators, different denominators here and also here I have different denominators, but there are two different cases I'll show you. So let's solve the first one. Here for, uh, for subtracting, what I have to do is, uh, these are the unlike fractions because they have different denominators. So I will have to convert them into like fractions. That means I need the same denominators for both the fractions to subtract them. So what I'm going to do is I will multiply both the fractions. I'll multiply both the fractions and I'll tell you why do I, why do I have to multiply. So I will multiply each fraction with the denominator of the other fraction. So here I'll multiply this fraction by the denominator of other fraction, which is three here. So that means I'll multiply this fraction by 3 over 3. And um, I will multiply this fraction by the denominator of other fraction, which is 5 here. So the denominator of other fraction is 5 here. So I'll multiply this by 5. That means you multiply each fraction by the denominator of other fraction, or you multiply both the fractions with each other's denominator. So this by 5 and then this by 3. And uh, you have to always remember that whatever you multiply in the denominator, you have to uh, do the same thing in the numerator. If you multiply something in the numerator, you will have to do the same thing in the denominator. Because here, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And then 4 fifth times 1 is going to be 4 fifth. So we are not changing the value of the fraction, but we are just trying to make the denominators equal. So by multiplying, this fraction by 3 and this fraction by 5, I'm trying to make the denominators equal. You can see here that 3 times 5 is going to be 15. And here also 3 times 5 is going to be 15. So let's go ahead and multiply the numerators and denominators. So 3 times 4 is going to be 12. And then 3 times 5 is going to be 15. Minus 1 times 5 will be 5. And 3 times 5 will be 15. Now 12 minus 5 is going to be 7 and then you never subtract the denominator so the denominator will be 15. So my answer is 7 over 15. Now I can't reduce it, uh, reduce this fraction to simplest form. This is already in simplest form because 7 is a prime number so we can't reduce it anymore. So this is our final answer. The final answer is 7 over 15. Now let's talk about this fraction. Um, well, you can use the same method. You can you can multiply um, the fraction, both the fractions with each other's denominator. But here, this is a different case. So uh, here you can see that 12 is a multiple of 4. So when you see this kind of situation, if one of the fractions denominator is a multiple of other fractions denominator, instead of multiplying, both the fractions by each other's denominator, we can just multiply one fraction. We can just multiply one fraction to make the denominators equal. And I'll show you how to do that. So here, uh, you can see that I have 12 here. Now, you can't multiply anything into 12 to make it equal to 4. So we will not multiply both the fractions. We'll be only multiplying one fraction. So we need to decide which fraction do we need to multiply. Because this is a different case when you have when one of the fractions denominator here 12 is a multiple of 4 so we we will only multiply one fraction here so we can't do anything to 12 because 12 times anything will not be 4 right but you can multiply something into 4 to make it 12 so here what do i multiply in 4 to make the denominator 12 so I can multiply my denominator by 3 to make it 12. Now 3 times 4 is going to be 12. Now since I multiplied 3 into the denominator, I will have to multiply 3 into the numerator as well. Okay, so <clears throat> now you can see that I have the same denominator as 3, 5, 3 times 4 is 12 and this is also 12. So instead of multiplying this fraction by 4 and then this fraction by 12, I can just go ahead and multiply one fraction and make the calculation more easier. Here, now you can go ahead and multiply the numerators and the denominators. So 3 times 4, will sorry, 3 times 3 is going to be 9 and 3 times 4 will be 12. Here, I have uh, 8 over 12. 
Now, you see that you have like denominators, same denominators. You can just go ahead and subtract the numerators. 9 minus 8 is going to be 1. And then you never subtract the denominator. So the answer is 1, 1 over 12. So 1, 1, 12. The final answer is this. So this is how you can just multiply one fraction uh, instead of multiplying both the fractions. So this is only this case. This, uh, this will only work when one of the fractions denominator is a multiple of other fraction. Otherwise, you have to uh, or use this method to uh, make the denominators equal. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in next video.